Oh my god, guys! I literally just woke up. But look, it has snowed! Oh my goodness. This makes me so excited. <laughs> look, it's proper snowing! It's not even like one of those weird things mixed with rain. And someone clearly had a fun time decorating someone's car. Right, it is Sunday today and I just edited and wanted to upload a video that's supposed to go up today, obviously. And my internet doesn't work again. I don't know what's been going on, but for the past few weeks, the internet keeps disconnecting for like a couple of hours every single day. And it's so annoying because it's always when I have something to do. So I don't know if I should now wait to try to upload a video or what, because I also need to go to the grocery store. I'm going to one of the huge ones I've never been before. It's like a Tesco super stored it's like I don't know like half an hour away from where I live so I want to go there see if they have anything interesting that I can try because I've been eating like the same meals over and over again this past few months and I'm slowly getting tired of it so I want to try something new so yeah we'll see I'm gonna get ready wait to see if the internet comes back otherwise I'll just go to the store and upload in the evening because I can't do anything about it it is about three hours later now and I'm finally back from Tesco I bought quite a lot of stuff as you can see behind me so I thought I would do an old school grocery store haul let's start from this side this is my housemates but I bought some bread these mushroom mix that I'll put probably into rice it's like for stir fry I got some leaf spinach frozen one so that I can just pop it out um, when I want to make myself like a spinach sauce thingy that I make. If you're Slovenian, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then I got some cheese, this lemon and parsley yellowfin sole filets. It's just like fish. I got pizza for days when I am in a hurry and don't have time to eat anything else. Then I got these barbecue chicken drumsticks from the hot deli that I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I got some baby plum tomatoes which I'm still obsessed with. And then this is something that people here in the UK eat for Christmas. It's called minced pies and I got a pack of these to take home when I go home for Christmas just so that everyone else can try them as well. Some people love them, some people hate them. I've tried them before, I like them. Then I got a vegetable bake for one of my dinners later in the week. I got some roasted vegetable chips, which is just basically um, carrot, beetroot, and parsnip, like cut. So I can just pop it in the oven and I'm gonna have that tonight for dinner as well um, and probably for lunch tomorrow as well. Then I got some salami. Then I decided to try out this spiced plum linser tarts they just look really cute so i'm definitely gonna instagram them as well but yeah they sound delish um then i got some olives and also two things that i'm gonna take to work for lunch this is the broccoli and peanut salad which i haven't tried before looks interesting though and this is the char grilled mushroom pasta salad which i haven't tried either but yeah both of these look really nice. Now let me put away this stuff and show you some other things that I got as well. I told you I got a lot. Here is the second part. I'm not sure if I already showed these tissues, but boring. If my family is watching, spoiler alert, you're getting the chocolate oranges. <laughs> which is basically chocolate. It's like shaped like an orange and you can like tear away the like little pieces. It looks really cool and it's also really tasty. Then I got some potatoes, some pasta this multi-purpose wipes and then the egg fried rice that you apparently just pop into a microwave i normally don't do like instant meals or whatever but this looked interesting and since i don't really have a lot of time to cook anymore i thought i would give it a try and i'll have that with the stir fry mixture i showed you then i got some cheese this is one of my faves i decided to try this meat free bolognese sauce that I can pop over pasta. Then I also decided to try this chicken casserole, which I think is just chicken, carrot, potato, peas, and yeah, things like that. And I decided to treat myself to these salted caramelized nuts. They look really yummy. And this, oh my god, this I've been looking for ages because it is so clever. It's basically already chopped garlic, so you don't have to chop it yourself when you're like cooking and you can just take a spoon and put it in the pan. And then lastly, I also decided 
to try this Oatly organic oat drink because I've been buying soy milk instead of like the regular milk for the past I don't know how many months and I've heard this one is good as well and I am trying to avoid soya because apparently it's not that great so I thought I would give this one a try and if it tastes nice I will be buying this one from now on oh my god I am so tired it's 8 o'clock but it feels like it's 11 because it gets dark so soon but anyway I'm gonna have my dinner now and I actually just started watching a movie because I really felt like having a movie night and I found this movie called Stronger which is a drama about a guy who lost his legs when the Boston marathon attack happened I love drama so it's right up my alley and I feel like it's been ages since I watched a drama I feel like Hollywood is no longer doing dramas or romantic comedies which are the types of movies that are my favorite basically that I like to watch so yeah I'm glad I discovered this one so I'm gonna watch it and then I think I'm gonna like slowly go to sleep because I actually feel so tired right now I could probably fall asleep in five minutes if I went to bed right now but it's eight so I'm not gonna do that hello again it is Friday today and it is my last weekend here in London before going home for the holidays for two weeks I think the last time I talked to you I told you that I'm about to watch a movie called Stronger and I watched it it was really good so I totally recommend it to you if you love dramas right now <laughs> I actually couldn't be more Slovenian because I am eating mashed potatoes with spinach sauce which I don't think any other nations eat but it's really delicious and so simple to make here's a little close-up for you this is how it looks like I know it looks disgusting but it tastes so good let me know if you want to know how I prepare it and maybe I can film a little recipe for you in one of the upcoming vlogs when, <laughs> whenever I'm making it again but right now I'm actually about to watch another movie I know it is unbelievable I feel like in the last week I've watched more movies well this will be the second one <laughs> I haven't watched any other movies but because I haven't been watching movies in such a long time I feel like now that I'll watch two I just I don't know it just seems like I've watched more movies in one week than I did in like the past <laughs> three years but yeah I'm actually gonna watch the second part of a movie called Listy do M or in English it is Letters to Santa Claus I think part one is basically my all-time favorite Christmas movie. It's actually a Polish movie directed by a Slovenian director and it's just bloody brilliant. It's like a Hollywood style movie but with a really great humor. It's just done really well so I really love it but I haven't seen the second part yet. Um, it is a couple of years old but it was not directed by a Slovenian guy and apparently it's not as good but I still thought I would give it a watch just because the characters are the same and I really like their stories in the first part so yeah this will be my evening tonight so I somehow managed to sleep until 11 a.m. today in my defense I haven't slept at all last night or like the night before I guess I just kept waking up every half an hour uh, so yesterday I went to bed at midnight which is kind of early for me and after I fall asleep I slept till like 7 a.m. I got woken up because there was like noise in the bathroom but then I uh, fell back asleep and yeah woke up at 11 which is crazy and I feel like I've wasted half of my day but at least I got some very much needed sleep because I will be very sleep deprived for the next seven days um so I guess that was good I need to run to the post office now because it literally closes in 20 minutes and I need to send back this ASOS <laughs> I ordered some stuff the other day and I kept two but I'm sending back a scarf that I ordered basically I've been looking for like a multi-toned gray scarf because my current one is black and my coat is black and usually I wear black jeans and black <laughs> shoes so I thought I need some color in my wardrobe and yes I do consider gray as color I found the perfect one at H&M but when I tried it on I got fluff all over myself so that was a no and now I just I don't know I can't find a similar anywhere and I ordered one from ASOS that was supposed to be similar but when it arrived it was literally black and white which is what I don't want and it was also extremely wide and extremely short I'm not sure what happened but that's not how scarves 
work i don't know i just don't like it so i'm sending it back and then i'm actually going to central london i think i'll be doing lots of walking today because i'm starting at covent garden to check out the christmas tree i'm so lame <laughs> and do some shopping and then i need to stop at whole foods to pick up some stuff for my friend back home in slovenia hopefully they have it because i've been looking for these like deliciously ella and livia's kitchen stuff everywhere and i just can't find them i don't know why it's like i'm cursed wow the sun got really bright um and then i'm going to walk probably the whole of the oxford street because i need to do some last minute christmas shopping as well um, and possibly pick up some stuff for myself too. So it's gonna be a long shopping filled day. I am dead. It is 10 p.m. I came home like half an hour ago, quickly had dinner because I was totally starving because I haven't eaten anything since 11 a.m. Everything hurts. My back is killing me from carrying my heavy bag and all the shopping bags all day long and I'm annoyed because I didn't get all the Christmas presents that I wanted. Actually the problem is that I didn't know what to get and I still don't know what to get and now I won't be even able to get anything because I'm working until the very moment I'm leaving to the airport so basically i'm screwed i also didn't manage to get anything for myself because i just ran out of time so today went well yeah it didn't go well basically and i'm also reconsidering vlogging when i go home for christmas because um i don't know i just thought i would be doing all these exciting christmasy things and now my family have put up the christmas tree without me and they big like the cookies and everything that i usually do so i don't think i'll have anything to vlog i know some of you were excited to see the vlogs but i literally won't have anything to film i'm just gonna hopefully be able to chill and maybe go for walks with my dog and that's it i doubt that i'll be doing anything christmas related this year is really bizarre to me because i feel like i haven't done anything christmas yet and it almost feels like december is like non-existent this year it just like passed me by basically and i just yeah i feel really weird about it i'm basically skipping christmas this year and i'm not even somewhere warm on the beach how depressing <laughs> Oh, I did pick something up for myself. This. It's called Cinnabon. <laughs> and I've never tried it before. But every time I pass um, the store at Piccadilly, I am like tempted to get it. But I haven't ever. So today I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna trick myself, okay? This is what I got. It's basically like a cinnamon roll. And apparently you just put it in a microwave for like 30 seconds and it's all warm and nice. So yeah, I'm gonna have that for dessert, I think. <laughs> Even though I shouldn't, but oh well i don't know what else to tell you guys because i literally am so tired that i can't even speak anymore i'm gonna go eat my cinnamon now <laughs> and i'm gonna attempt to do some work as well even though i would rather go to bed and then maybe wake up early tomorrow i don't know what's gonna happen but yeah that's it for today and for my 2017 london vlogs because this is the last vlog that i'm filming in london because i'm flying home on friday well flying home on saturday but have to go to the airport on friday and i'm gonna spend the night there which i'm not looking forward to but that's the only way to go about it for me unfortunately so i guess i'll see you on sunday with a vlog from slovenia there will be vlogs coming up from my holidays in slovenia i just don't know if i should do them like daily or every other day like i was planning to at the beginning or if i should just do like a couple of um weekly vlogs and stick to my sunday schedule let me know your thoughts down below would you rather see me do like weekly vlogs when i'm home and only show you the interesting parts or do you want me to vlog daily and watch me do boring stuff as well i have no idea but yeah i would like to know your thoughts i'm really gonna go now and i'll see you guys soon bye about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking